Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how to use your Samsung Galaxy Gear watch uh, with other Android devices besides the ones that Samsung has greedily locked it down to. So this doesn't actually allow the Gear Manager app to work, so notifications and things like that, but it does allow you to turn it into a regular Bluetooth device and any device that has Bluetooth 4.0 or above should be able to connect to it just fine. Also, show you how to share your internet connection between the two devices as well so that you can uh, use the browser, etc., on the Galaxy Gear. And we'll also put the Play Store on the Galaxy Gear so you can download a plethora of Bluetooth apps and use them between the two devices. So if that sounds fun to you, here's how to do it. Okay, so first you need to do is uh, make sure the device you're going to pair with supports Bluetooth 4.0 uh, and it needs to be on Android 4.3 or higher. Then you can root the Galaxy Gear. This is the process of gaining administrative rights on it um, so that we can change the things that we need to change. So click on that link here if you have not already done that. Um, then once you've finished it, return here. And there's one more thing you have to do. You're going to have to head to our Flash a Custom ROM, which is basically flashing a new version of the operating system or the firmware onto the device so that we can do this. And there's a lot of other things you can do with it too, like put live wallpapers, the Play Store, uh, internet browser, etc. Um, but do that video, return here, and then we can continue. Okay, now that your device is rooted and running a custom ROM, we can connect it to a phone. How we're going to do that is on the phone, scroll down, uh, pull down the notification, go to settings, Bluetooth, turn it on, and then on the Galaxy Gear, you're going to essentially do the same. Go to the app drawer, scroll over till you get to settings, tap Bluetooth, turn that on as well. Then at this point you can scan for devices on your phone. And you see the Galaxy Gear pop up. Tap that. Tap pair. And on the Galaxy Gear, pair as well. And you're connected. Okay, now we're going to want to enable internet sharing between the two devices. In other words, we'll let the Galaxy Gear use the internet from our, in this case, Nexus. So to do that, you're going to go to settings, then more tethering and portable hotspot, and we're going to turn Bluetooth tethering on. Then on the device, go to settings and then Bluetooth, tap on the little settings icon next to your device's name, scroll down, and you'll see under profiles, internet access. You're going to check that on. As long as it stays checked like that, it means you are now connected to the phone. Okay, and then on the device, you can go into the Play Store, um, and use your internet to look for Bluetooth. Um, and you'll see a bunch of different Bluetooth things in here. Uh, widgets and GPS and auto connecting for the Bluetooth and remote PC Bluetooth stuff. And there's a bunch of stuff in here uh, to kind of check out and download and see which ones work. You can find a media controller app um, and just get a lot more functionality out of this new Bluetooth connection. Enjoy. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.